Hey, what's up? This is Joshua. Um, daily video blog. Not quite daily because uh, things have been super hectic. Um, but I think uh, that hecticness is going to provide fodder for today's video. Uh, this one is going to be very graphic design-y oriented, but it probably has uh, relevance to other creative disciplines where you have to plan out an idea and make it work across a wide variety of spectrums and formats and whatnot so oh, and uh, i have basically been working all day and kind of all night for i don't know a week now and uh i seem to be very easily winded so um <laughs> so bear with me if i am a little less uh smooth than normal are a little less smooth than my normal lack of smoothness. So, uh, so I'm working on this big project. It is a a like a brand campaign or a launch that goes against or goes through multiple formats in various retailers. So I think the list of elements that I would design that range from very simple to very complex kind of um, uh, architectural installations or. Um, or fixtures it's probably like 50 separate items um, and I've had an extremely short amount of time to make this happen um, and uh, and I'm not sure I'm as far on it as I'm supposed to be but on the other hand um, uh, you know you have clients involved so you can only get so far until they sign off on things I think it's sprinkling on me now so that sucks uh, so I'm gonna talk about some little workflow things that help me deal with a monstrous project where maybe you don't have a lot of time for, re for research and that you have to do it extraordinarily quickly. So uh, the first thing that I do in these kind of projects is design the deck, the presentation deck. Um, so I go in and, um, and, and lay out the deck, like make a page for every element that needs to be in it. I will, what else do I do? So I'll make a page for every element. I will label it. I'll get all the sizes put into it. Um, every little thing that sort of provides context to it. And one of the reasons I do this is partially because it's a form of research. Um, by labeling it all and having it there, I understand the scope of what I'm working on, which as you can imagine, is probably really helpful. Um, and then from there, I will go and build full-size files for every single element. Um, part of the reason that I want to do this is, uh, again, to have like a good understanding of everything that's there, um, but also knowing that if a project has a crazy deadline on the front end, like you need to get it in front of the client almost immediately, there's no way that it's going to have a leisurely pace on the back end where you can rebuild everything. So my philosophy is, build it once and build it right the first time in terms of file setup. You know, if it's going to be designed in InDesign, uh, then I'm not going to screw around making uh, files that are 10% scale in Illustrator. I'm going to build full size files and I'll just throw low res photos in them just so that my computer runs at its right speed. Um, so that's like the first thing I do. And the reason that I do this too is that once I've done that, um, now all of a sudden the project becomes just filling in those blanks and when you see everything that can also help you figure out which pieces you don't need to work on so like a lot of these retailers have a million different sizes of like a banner that goes in the window well if you've built all of those files and you've built a deck that has a, a space for all of them all of a sudden you realize that maybe three out of five of those banners are roughly the same proportions. So you can skip even designing it. Um, do one of them, make sure that they sign off on it, and then repeat that for the rest of them when the time comes. Um, so hopefully that like is the kind of thing where it cuts down on time and if there's revisions, you only make those revisions once and then you use that new approved file as the next step. Oh, my arm is killing me today. Um, let's see, what's another one? So that's kind of the first thing is like literally running through and like fill like making empty boxes and then I go back and just fill those boxes in. 
Um, another one that I think is really critical, sorry, that's not totally not working for me, is to, um, to keep as many things like pieces of artwork that are consistently used in separate uh, files. So it's really convenient and easy to, um, cop to make like vector artwork, say an illustrator, and then copy that into InDesign. Um, uh, it, one of the reasons I don't like to do that, like with logos or type lockups, is what if you or someone else accidentally stretches that that chunk of art and you have no idea that that's happened because everything in it is the same, um, is no longer the same size, you have nothing to compare it to, and you can't even double check that the work is wrong. Um, so uh, what we tend to do is copy things even if we get files from clients, I tend to copy it back into Illustrator and make a file and link everything back to that one file. This is great because if there's an adjustment, a color adjustment, you make it once and then you just open all your InDesign files and update that link. Or if there's like a slight spacing adjustment, whatever it is, um, and try to do that as much as possible. Uh, that saves a ton of time because like this client, I'm the project I'm working on right now, there's no reason why I can't have finished everything and then have them come back and decide to change copy or to adjust the spacing or something like that. And it's like, do I really want to have to go into 50 InDesign files or potentially more because some of these things are going to require multiple files uh, and have to copy and paste that in a thousand times and rescale it or would I rather just open everything up once and hit save and have that file update automatically those to me are two of the biggest um, time savers uh, they take a little bit more effort up front but the thing gets done faster and I would say the other thing that's really helpful is that it saves you time in the back end and it cuts down on mistakes in the back end uh, which is so critical um, I try to think if there's anything else that like that I do that I think helps me get through my work a little bit faster. I think those two are the biggest ones. Um, build everything, like build the deck, then build full size files, and then be working with as few assets as possible and just try to link back to them. Um, all right, I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna dig back into the exact same files for the next I don't know how many hours. Thanks for watching.